On the mournful days of the martyrdom of Lady Fatima, the daughter of the Holy Prophet of Islam, peace be upon them, a religious group from Iraq attended a meeting session with the eminent title as she was in a central office in Holy Qom. Then these Shias were received by Sayyid Hussein Shirazi, the respected son of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, who delivered a lecture to them about the most recent problems of the Muslim world. For more on this lecture, stay with us. In the past week and during the sorrowful days that coincide with the martyrdom anniversary of Lady Fatima, the daughter of the Holy Prophet of Islam, a number of managers and members of a religious community from Iraq were received warmly at the central office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Qom. At their presence in this office, these pilgrims paid a visit to the Islamic authority and jurist Grand Ayatollah Shirazi and listened to his instructions and advices. <laughs> In our hometown, we perform many religious works about the Prophet's household. We also change the name of the area we live in to Az Zahra, which is taken from the name of Lady Fatima Az Zahra, peace be upon her. This town is a gate to the holy city of Karbala, and all the people living in this area serve the pilgrims of Imam Hussein with everything they have. In fact, we believe this is a great blessing to serve the pilgrims and lovers of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. Now we are here on this trip to visit the shrines of Lady Masuma and Imam Rida, peace be upon them, and thanks God, we have managed to meet the Grand Islamic Authority Ayatollah Shirazi in person. This meeting takes place each year, and every time we we'll learn new things from the eminent Ayatollah Shirazi. I pray to God Almighty to give us this chance to implement the instructions of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. After this meeting, this religious community held a commemoration ceremony in this office and marked the more full martyrdom of Lady Fatima, peace be upon her. جئنا لنواسي ونقيم we are here in Holy Qom to offer our sincere condolences to the awaited Imam Mahdi for the sad martyrdom anniversary of his mother, Lady Fatima, peace be upon her. In the meantime, we had a meeting with the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi and His Eminence encouraged us to keep working in this way. We have special programs for these days that coincide with the martyrdom anniversary of Lady Fatima and aim to introduce the genuine Islam and the Alul Bayt to the world. Now we plan to travel to Mashhad city and continue the program of this community. In addition, the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi insisted on solidarity among the people in Iraq. I am a religious preacher at the Volunteer Forces in Iraq, and I encourage the young people to stand by their beliefs and fight the enemies and defend the genuine Islamic values. Then Sayyid Hussain Shirazi, the son of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, made his speech among these pilgrims. In the speech by the respected son of the eminent Ayatollah Shirazi, this great Islamic scholar pointed to the verse 97, chapter 9 of the Holy Quran and stated that there is a group of Muslims whose hearts have empty of faith and they only carry with them the name of Islam. The Holy Quran reluctantly called this group as Muslims but uncovered their two-faced nature as well. According to the narrations that created by all Muslim believers, this group of Muslims are hated for their ill beliefs toward the Mamali peace be upon him. I met the eminent Ayatollah Shwazi 
and I asked him to pray for us to succeed in our lives. But when His Eminence recognized that I am a yologist and the fact that I serve the Ahlul Bayt with reciting poems, he asked me to pray for his success. I was really surprised by the humble manners of the Ayatollah Shwazi. I learned a big lesson from the Grand Ayatollah and that was the fact that the servants of Imam Hussein enjoy a higher rank in this world and the hereafter. Imam Hussein gave away everything he had for the sake of God Almighty and I believe that anyone who serves this great character will have a prosperous life in both worlds. I want the Lord not to take this honor from me. The eminent Ayatollah Shirazi stated that our beliefs are displayed in our religious activities and that is why we always make efforts to revive and protect any Islamic activity or ritual concerning the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them. The respected son of the eminent Ayatollah Shirazi stated that the distinguishing feature of the Shia Muslims is their deep spiritual and profound tendency towards the Holy Prophet and his pure household. Then Sayyid Hussain Shurazi added that the faith of the Shia Muslims is deeply inherited with the love of the Prophet and his household and this love elevates the status of people based on the genie and Islam standards and before the Almighty God. In the end Sayyid Hussain Shurazi mentioned that the pilgrimage to holy shrines as a manifestation of this pure love that plays an important role in strengthening the beliefs of the Shia Muslims. وفقنا الله بتجمع 250 نفر من المواكب الحسينية من أهالي سدة الهندية. With blessings of the Almighty God, 250 managers of different Islamic groups from Iraq joined this pilgrimage trip. We made it to the holy city of Qom in order to honor the martyrdom anniversary of Lady Fatima, the daughter of the Holy Prophet, near the sacred shrine of Lady Masma, peace be upon them both. In our second day in the city, we could meet with eminent Ayatollah Shirazi and face a warm welcome by his office. We are also scheduled to visit the sacred shrine of Imam Rida, peace be upon him, in the city of Mashhad. Of course, whatever we do, we won't be able to match the great sacrifices of the Holy Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. In this trip, we met with Sayyid Hussain Shirazi, the son of the Grand Jurist, who gave us many precious pieces of advice. In our hometown, we always do different activities to honor the memory of Imam Hussain and serve the pilgrims of this holy Imam in different occasions. In addition, many young people from this town have joined the voluntary forces and defend the country against ISIS. Also, other groups of people in this town send their spiritual and financial help to the voluntary forces and help them in their fight against the terrorists. All these collaborations with the voluntary forces forces are the outcome of the Islamic verdict issued by the grand jurists and Islamic scholars. So far, we have had some martyrs in our town. I pray to God Almighty to give us the victory against the ISS. After the lecture by Sayyid Hussain Shurazi, the members of this religious community held a congregational prayer led by Atullah Fedoi at the central office of the Grand Ayatollah Shurazi in the holy city of Qom, and then this community moved to the shrine of Lady Masuma, peace be upon her, in the form of a mourning procession. We spent two days in the holy shrine of Lady Masma, peace be upon her, and honored the martyrdom of Lady Fatima, the daughter of the Holy Prophet of Islam. Then we went to the office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi and met with his eminence. At the moment, all our programs in the holy city of Qom are finished, and we are going to travel to the holy city of Mashhad to continue our programs there. During this trip, we have experienced many special things, like that I became sick and miraculously was cured. 
In fact, I believe that this whole community is actually protected by the pure household. Finally, I would like to express my good feelings for having the honor of serving this religious community. Each year, religious occasions are commemorated by the people in my hometown. This pilgrimage caravan was also formed by a friend of mine, Haj Ali Moke, who organizes this trip to the holy cities of Qom and Mashhad. This trip takes place at the days of Lady Fatima martyrdom anniversary. In this trip, we were warmly welcomed by the Islamic authority eminent Ayatollah Shirazi, and I thank him for that. I also pray to God to help him in his activities. The words of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi carry so much weight in Iraq. The speech by the respectful son of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi focused on establishing a good relationship with the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them all. And then he said that this pilgrimage trip can have a strong effect on making this kind of relationship. On the whole, we really enjoyed the words of eminent Ayatollah Shirazi and his son, Sayyid Hussein Shirazi. I pray to God Almighty to help us all in following the right way. I thank you all again.